Hello and welcome to the first episode of how to make a plant in GIMP and Blender. So let's begin by creating a new image. Make the image 1024 by 1024 pixels. So this first file is my dump file. We put all the photos and pictures in it and at the end we won't save this file. I work always like this, but if you don't like this way of working, don't use it. It's just how I'm going to use this in this tutorial. So just import all the photos you made before in this file. But of course, we're not going to use all the images we imported. It's just our dump file. So the idea of this tutorial is that you're going to use your own photos to make textures from. Making this photo is not that hard. This is the new file we're going to use. Just delete the background, we don't need that in our texture. So if you are taking those photos, just remember a few things. Hold a white paper behind the leaf, and also don't create too many shadows. If you are having one color, it will be a lot easier to remove everything except the leaf from the texture. Oh, sorry, I'm scaling it the wrong way. Just undo that. Let me just find the right picture. We are going to use this tutorial. So I've got now the right photo. Just scale down until it fits into the texture. So I'm just scaling it down a little bit until it fits. And yeah, it fits. Yeah, good enough. So if you think it fits, just copy the photo and paste it into our file. Now we need to, oh sorry, don't scale it, rotate it 90 degrees. So just move it to the right so an other leaf will fit at the left side. So now we're going to remove all the white parts from the photo we don't need in our texture. So just select with the color select the white color and we're going to erase everything that isn't part of the leaf. Everything that is far from the leaf you can remove without selecting the color first. If you are using color select, just make sure you don't remove parts of the leaf, because that will look fake. If you are having already holes in your leaf, it doesn't matter, but if you create your own holes in leaves, it will look fake. So don't do that. So just erase everything and if you're making this for your game or your project, just do it more precise. I'm just doing this only for my tutorial. But for this tutorial, it will take too long because it normally takes around a half hour 
just for one leaf. Something else that is important, we are creating a detail object. And with a detail object, you don't have to be so precise as if it were a big object. Sometimes color select won't select everything you want to erase. And that's also what is happening now. So we're just going to resize the eraser to one pixel and erase pixel by pixel. Don't do this everywhere. It will take too long. So try to avoid that as much as possible. So just use color select to select the white color and also remove that. And also here, I selected something from the leaf, so you have to be careful with that part of the leaf that you don't remove something from the leaf itself. I think we removed everything from the leaf we don't need. Now we've got this part, so just erase also this part. And now we already did the texture of the first leaf. So just let me find the second photo we're going to use in this tutorial. This isn't the right leaf I'm going to use for this tutorial. So let me just cancel the rescaling of this leaf. This leaf is looking good, so I think I'm going to use this for the tutorial. This is exactly the same as we did with the other leaf. So just resize the leaf until it fits in the texture. So I'm just going to resize it and move it around until I think it fits into the texture. So it's looking great now, so just copy it and paste it into the other file. And move to the left of the texture. And now erase everything that is far from the leaf without using color select. So just erase it to something like this. Select the color white with color select and erase everything that doesn't belong by the leaf. With this leaf, it's a little bit harder to make a good texture because it uh, has more variation in color in the background. Just select with color select all the white parts and erase everything. As you can see, in this leaf there are already holes. It doesn't matter, because it looks like it belongs there. But don't do it by yourself, it will look ugly. But if you still want to have a leaf with a hole in it, just take a photo of a leaf with a hole in it. If you are still creating some holes by accident in a leaf, just make the whole texture again. So just let me remove all the white borders from the leaf. Because we can select the whole border, we're going to change the threshold from 15 to 30. But be careful with it, because maybe you are selecting also some parts of the leaf and it will look bad if you are erasing also parts of the leaf. I'm just going to remove quickly everything we don't need from the photo. I'm 
Remove everything that doesn't belong by this leaf, even if it's from the plant itself. Because the leaves overlap each other at some places, we're going to move them around a little bit. Just quickly erase everything you didn't erase earlier in this tutorial. Oh, I see, I've got something to erase earlier this tutorial that is close by the leaf itself. So I'm going to quickly erase that part. So now we finished creating the color map of the plant. The next thing we are going to create is the normal map. So duplicate both layers and merge them into one layer. For the normal map, you're going to create a new layer. For the normal map, don't use black or white, because GIMP won't make a bump map or normal map if you use black or white. So just use the values you see now on the screen. To make the normal map, we're going to use Jim's plugin Bump Map. Select the layer we just duplicated. Just play around with the settings until you think it is looking good enough. Just save the file somewhere. And then we are at the end of this part. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. It will help me a lot. Also, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments and I will try to answer it.